and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. Today's tutorial is a quick tip on how to thread text using Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to show you two ways um, that you can thread text. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a document with three columns in it that you see right here. And literally the only thing I did was file new document and I just upped the column count right here to three and I unchecked facing pages and I hit OK. So that got me here. And next I'm gonna pull in some just placeholder text and I'll leave a link to where I got this placeholder text if you want to follow along. So I'm just gonna paste that in and I actually just separated these a little bit because my master plan is to have a text box up here with this first paragraph and then I'm gonna have three columns and each column will have one of these paragraphs in it. So to make this whole thing um, a little prettier, I thought we could look at my dog while we do this. So here's a picture of Nuna. And to scale down an image, you can grab the right hand bottom corner and I'm gonna hold Command and Shift or Control and Shift if you're on a PC. And you can just scale it down like that. I'm actually gonna make her a little smaller. Okay. So now that we have this, I'm going to typeset it and I'm going to change it to, for, to Verdana and we'll make it 13 points just so everyone can see it easier. Okay. So we're going to bring this text all the way down here and you'll notice the little red warning X right there just because the text goes beyond the height of my text box, but that's okay. Um, we're going to draw the text box up here to bring this first paragraph of text. So with my text tool over here, I'm just going to draw a text box. And then I'm just going to grab my selection tool, which is this filled in arrow up here. And you're going to notice I have a big square right here and a big square right here. And I'm going to click on this bottom right big square and I'm going to click on this text box at the bottom. And now this has threaded the text between the top text box and the bottom text box. And just because I'm anal, I'm going to get rid of these hyphens. You should always get rid of hyphens. So, actually, crap, I need to select all of this. Okay, now I can dehyphenate. Okay, so you will notice I have this one line of text right here that does not belong up here. And I could um, fake it and kind of just hit enter a few times and knock it down, but we're going to do this the right way. So with my cursor at the end of this paragraph right here, I'm going to go to type, insert, break character, and I'm going to choose frame break. So that knocks everything down here. And I'm just going to bring this to the top right here. Okay. So we decided at the beginning we're going to put each one of these paragraphs inside each one of these columns. So we have to first split this big text box up into three columns. So we're going to do that by going with it selected, go to Object, Text Frame Options, and we're going to up the number of columns right here to three. Hit OK. All right, so now we've got three columns. That text box is now three columns of text box. Okay, so we need just this part in this first text box. So I'm gonna leave my cursor right there. I'm gonna go type, insert break character. And because this is in a column, I'm gonna do a column break instead of a frame break. And now I'm gonna bring this to the top a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the second column, type, insert break character, column break, and now we've got it exactly the way we wanted it, piece of cake. All right, so that's the first way that we can thread text. And the second way is really quick and easy and probably the way that you might know it already. So I'm just gonna copy this text and put it in a text box, a small text box, so it goes beyond that. So if I grab my direct select tool um, and I click on this little red 
square and I just click anywhere else, it's going to drop it into a text box. So that's also threading text. But if you, let me go back. If I want this to go into a text box the size of my choosing, I can draw the text box first and then I can do it. Grab that. And now it fills in the text box of my choice. All right, so those are two ways to easily create some text threading in InDesign. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe and thanks for watching.